Such a big day for so many. It's Valentine's Day. It's all about the heart. So Dr. Paul Coley, a cardiologist, is going <laughs> joining us today as she does weekly to talk about things. Today we're going to talk about the science of love. And That's it's true, there are uh, benefits, and, and I, I fear that there, anything that has an upside also has a downside. <laughs> you know, love is the best medicine, <laughs> and I wish I could write a prescription for it every year, but especially today, I'm going to write one for every single person that I see, because we've seen there's so many health benefits to being in love, and in fact, just receiving love. Uh, and those can include physical benefits, like, you know, less likely to get a cold, uh, increased longevity, you're actually more likely to recover after a heart attack. If you're in a relationship with someone, less likely to have cancer, pneumonia, a whole host of different things. But we also see a lot of psychological benefits. We see less substance abuse, less anxiety, less depression, just more connectedness to each other. So is this all kinds of love? I mean, love for family, love for, you know, everyone? Is it all kind of love? And what kind of chemicals? What does it do to your body, I guess? Yes, and that's the good news there. It doesn't okay. have to be that romantic love. And, and what we're not quite sure of, is it the chemical changes that are causing these physiologic and, and psychological benefits? Or is it the fact that you're more connected? Is it the social connectedness? So you're more likely to take your medications, you're likely to take better care of yourself, more likely to go to the doctor. I think it's actually a function of both. But you can see how very easily both of those can actually translate into any relationship, yeah. whether it's mother and child or friends or family, anything. So it's funny because I always think of, you know, when you think of the science of something like insulin, we know insulin does this. It'll behave differently in everyone's body. Physically, it does different things. But when you talk about something like this, the chemical and emotional changes in your life via love, that's really different. It in is. Everybody. And then you're talking about interpersonal relationships, whether it's family or, or romance or whatever. It is, Tom, but at the end of the day, it's the same chemical pathway. So if, if you actually think about being in love, you know that feeling you feel like you're floating on a cloud? That's the dopamine reward center in the brain. That's the center that triggers if you win the lottery, if you're using cocaine, if you're getting a high. It's a reward center. It makes yeah. us feel on top of the world. Then we have those butterflies in our stomach mm -hmm. when we first fall in love. That's some of the stress hormones, the adrenaline, the norepinephrine, the cortisol, which in the beginning of a relationship is very positive. If you have sustained levels of the stress hormones, of course, that can be maladaptive but really the pathways the chemical changes that are happening inside your body are real and they're reinforcing so the more you fall in love the more you're happy the more you're connected the more those positive chemicals will really reinforce and then we have that chemical oxytocin which actually gets triggered in women who give birth it's the bonding chemical mm -hmm. so the minute that we feel like we're starting to fall for somebody the bonding chemical gets triggered in our brain and that actually makes us feel more connected to so wasn't that yeah. Shakespeare's initial original title for Romeo and Juliet yet was oxytocin and cortisol? Sure, sure. But. I think it was, yeah. Does that mean though then if you're in a bad relationship or in your bad place that's really bad for your health? It does and yeah. this is the part we have to take seriously because our behavior, our relationships have such a tremendous impact on our health and so if you're fighting all the time that cortisol level gets really high, we've got higher blood pressure as opposed to lower, more insulin resistance, you know, more cancer causing chemicals. So we really have to be mindful to disconnect from some of those conflicts if that, that is occurring. But today really is a day about nurturing your heart emotionally and also physically. So not too many calories, not too many candies. Of course you were going <laughs> to stick that in. <laughs> and get an extra bit of exercise out there because that's good for your heart. But if you don't get a nice card from someone, you can just sit down and read some more about the science. Yeah, and Learn love. more about the science of love and what goes on in your, in your head, your And heart, trigger your those body. chemicals, yeah. yeah. Thanks Happy as always. Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Dr. Paul Coley. <laughs>